National Dialogue Committee today concluded the phase of receiving memoranda from Kenyans and various groups with representatives of Azimio and Kenya Kwanzaa coalitions giving their submissions on various issues including the possibility of amending the constitution. UDA Secretary General Cleophas Malala sparked controversy when he said there is no need for a piece of legislation barring politicians who call for anti-government protests from contesting for any political seat. On the other hand, Azimio representatives called for the opening of the 2022 presidential election service, as Mike Kagwongo now tells us. And in your... After seven days of receiving submissions from members of the public and various groups, that phase ended on Tuesday during the bipartisan talks at the Bombers of Kenya. With Kenya, Kwanzaa representatives now having a tough time when their Zimio colleagues in the committee sought to know how the government is planning to reduce the cost of living. That this office, if created or if entrenched the constitution, is going to water down the power and influence of the office of the deputy president. And could this perhaps be the cause of the incessant anti dialogue outbursts out there? We seek to strengthen individual parties as key uh, pillars for strong coalitions in Kenya. We started by saying that we draw our wisdom from the contents encapsulated in the memorandum from the president to the National Assembly. On the other hand, the Kenya Kwanzaa Brigade, led by UDA Secretary General Cleophas Malala, warns politicians who participated in anti-government protests that led to loss of lives and property to be barred from contesting for elective seats. They are also against the demand by the Azimio colleagues pushing for an audit of the 2022 presidential election results. We had uh, an annual note on this. But of course, uh, due to time, we may have not uh, done so much, but we stand for it. And this will uh, help in, uh, to create uh, their own supervision, which is a pivotal role within the cabinet secretary and the cabinet. Yes. And that is a mandate <coughs> that is given to the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission. And therefore, I think that goes without any opposition that has Kenya Kwanzaa. We agree, and since we are a democratic country. Azimio leaders want the servers opened to ostensibly establish the winner of the presidential contest. Led by a former AKP governor, Nderita Moreithi, they said the opening of servers is a normal issue. That should not be feared by anyone who has nothing to hide. We have demonstrated not only does the law require that the elections are evaluated and audited, uh, we have demonstrated by figures, figures taken from the IEBC portal itself. Parliament has been captured by the executive. And how did we begin this capture? We began by the fact when, when we had the, um, the speaker of the National Assembly being an affiliated and an active partner of the ruling coalition. And when we say gender, sometimes people think it's about women, but really it's only because women are currently the underrepresented gender. So we're saying that that proportion should add to a variable that we are calling X, and it should be equals to the 34% um, constitutional requirement on the number of underrepresented gender in both parliaments. The opposition politicians also called for a reduction of prices of fuel and food items to save Kenyans from the prevailing tough economic times. On Monday, Yela MP Hassan Omar, who is affiliated with Kenya Kwanzaa, proposed to have a law in place that election servers are opened in conclusion of a general election. Thank you. The committee shall now retreat for thorough scrutiny of presented submissions before them, including submissions in writing that were not presented here orally, with less than 25 days left before the committee calls it a day. Mike. Kagwongo TV 47 from Bomas of Kenya, Nairobi. Thank you.